everyone. So today we have a very energetic and a very dynamic personality, Dr. Bhavika Bansal on our channel. She has achieved AIR 10 in NEET MDS 2023. And uh, today she is here to reveal her secrets of studying dental pulse. Welcome to my channel, Dr. Bhavika. Hi, good morning. I think it's just a great morning to sit down with you and finally talk to you. I mean, I've followed you for so long and I've loved your content. So it's just my privilege to come here and talk to you. I feel it's the feeling is very mutual. I think it's a, totally thank a good morning. You, thank you so much. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm very sure that uh, this session would be very, very useful for those who are beginning with their preparation or, you know, who are somewhere in the middle of their NEET MDS preparation. So uh, watch this video till the end and with your full attention because Dr. Bhavika is revealing all her study secrets of dental pulse. I think so there's no secret to it. I think there's always, I mean, method to madness, I feel. So there is no secret as such. But I'll give it, I'll tell you everything I can, how I have done it. Huh. I'll put it all out. And hopefully it helps a lot of people. I'm eager to hear this. So uh, yeah, please, please begin. Uh, so I basically, in my preparation, I did four rounds of pulse. Two during my internship and twice in the last four months. So my internship ended in November. So I had November, December, January and February. So th uh, during those four months, I did it twice. And from uh, in my internship over the course of one year, I did it two times. See, the essence of Pulse, I believe, lies in its explanations. I mean, it's not about the questions that you get right. It is about the questions that you get wrong and its explanation. You go back to that explanation. You read that ap explanation, application of the concept once, twice, thrice. And definitely any related questions you get further in your tests or in your practice assignments, you are bound to, you know, get them right. I feel the essence of that book is in its answers. So I did it how I did it. I basically in my first go, the questions that I got right, I kept it on one side. The questions I get wrong, I read its application, its explanation. And I added that to my notes. I did not leave it there and then in the book. I highlighted it in the book, made a small point at the end of my register under the heading dental pulse extra points. Hmm. And every time I read that register again, I would also read those points of pulse and then solve pulse again. So essentially all the questions that I got wrong, I was able to solve. Right. So that is how I solved pulse over the course of one year, one and a half year. And which edition of Dental Pulse you were referring to? Latest one? I had 14th edition. Right. Okay. Yeah. And what about the synopsis part of Dental Pulse? See, I believe that synopsis has to be taken with a little salt on the side. I think what I believe that nobody can give you the notes, how well you make your notes. So the, it obviously acts as an addition I, I honestly used to first do my notes, do pulse, add the points to pulse uh, to my notes from pulse and then just go through the synopsis ones. Synopsis can act as a very good revision partner, but I feel it cannot act as a very good starting point. Okay. So you started right away with the uh, NCQs only? Uh, I used to read a little bit of theory, little bit of notes and then I used to go back to pulse okay right and uh you were following any particular sequence of subjects like the when you are starting with you are starting with an easier subject then moving to something moderately difficult and then the difficult subject or you used to choose the difficult subject first like you had any strategy among subjects or maybe dental first medical later like that way uh, see, I had a very clear-cut strategy with respect, not on the difficulty basis. I was always someone who struggled with the medical side of subjects. For me, the dental side that of is, subjects think, was relatively... Yeah, with every dental student, it is like that only. Yeah. So I used to do it in a ratio of three, ratio one. So for every three dental subjects that I did, 
after that i used to give one one and a half week to one medical subject right that is for sure i did it in three ratio one okay and you used to take a week to complete a subject initially like when you started your preparation no initially i used to not initially i was really slow because initially you're trying to remember things you're trying mm-hmm. to you know make your notes you're trying to you know put everything together essentially mm-hmm. first getting all your material together is very important mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so having that in place is very important so that time around i used to take maybe for some subjects i took two weeks maybe for some i took two and a half weeks okay it varied Mm-hmm. and then gradually that time was decreasing like initially you started with two weeks to complete one subject it uh, then later became one uh, week to complete that subject and then so on so other than dental pulse you have not referred any other book any other reference i have uh, i have actually never referred any other book i did have uh, i did have a soft copy of vadwan Hmm. but i uh, for past papers we were given past papers from the source that i was studying so hmm. at the end of it it was only my printouts and my tests that i had actually stapled with my pulse hmm. that i did hmm. i because i feel that you know it's not the number of books it's about how you can put things from your short term memory to hmm. your long term memory it is not about you know referring multiple sources for me that has been my strategy mm mm-hmm, mm true also uh, you know uh, can you emphasize more on the importance of mock tests because i have i've said it multiple times on this channel but still you know when it comes from uh, a topper i think people will take it more seriously <laughs> no i feel tests are very very important i feel no discount on that tests are truly the essence of your preparation it actually puts you in perspective that how much you've done of that how much you retain mm-hmm. i don't think there will be anybody who will say oh they retain 100% of it mm-hmm. i feel that is where mock tests come in and they help you put everything in perspective basically no matter how you practice it's about how much at the end of it you are able to apply so uh, there's a way, you know i'd like to mention a teacher of mine once said that beta ghar pe baith ke practice karna ek baat hoti hai jaake match khelna ek baat hoti hai to net practice to karni padegi true. so that kind of has stuck with me throughout yeah. true now any other you know uh, tips or uh, i don't know you have shared everything but still if anything is left if anything you want to share for uh, my viewers then the last take home message from you i think take home message from me has to be that there'll be good days there'll be bad days there'll be days when you don't want to touch your books there'll be days when you don't want to study there'll be days when you're posted in departments where the whole day you've been on your feet a lot of departments uh, we have that way but it is about going through those days going past those days and actually saying that you know it's okay we've come this far and it's just a little bit of push and pull a little bit of journey that's left i think that will be my take home message for everybody so it was really inspiring and uh, i very much agree with you like you know all days are not same but you have to you know remind yourself that yeah you are working for a bigger goal and uh, this is just a temporary situation and you'll come out of it and you have to do the same thing every day no matter what is happening around true absolutely i feel that that goes with everything i think preparation stage is very taxing not mm-hmm. only physically mentally and you do feel some days you're very anxious especially when the days are closer to the exam and you know there's so much outside white noise but at the end of the day it's hard but you have to put your heart and mind align it and just put it to it i feel right. you just have to just that little bit of journey is left true that was a wonderful wonderful session thank you so much again
always i think i i always say this i told you this before i think when we start before we started recording that i'm a loyal subscriber so today <laughs> being on this channel is like okay now so I mean, I was, it was lovely interacting with you talking to you it was lovely and more videos coming for you all with uh, dr bhavika on neat mts journey and uh, you know more related to neat mts preparation so stay tuned guys please subscribe she makes some amazing content i watch her content please go <laughs> follow her on social media and please please subscribe i think it's an amazing channel and i love your revision videos i think you make those highlights also on your instagram no Yeah. So you're like okay, don't mindlessly scroll, scroll Instagram. Mm. Just see my highlights. <laughs> so I think that is another I think great thing to do for everybody out there. Thank you. Thank you.